so you see my screen right yes sir okay. yes sir perfect so in the last class we were discussing about uh about a scenario in which a missile is uh projected on a structure and that particular missile or projectile is basically penetrating inside the structure so i gave an over overall view in a qualitative sense that what will happen and what kind of failures can occur due to this kind of scenario today we are going to do a little bit of uh, quantitative analysis or what should i say uh, analytical analysis uh, analytical modeling of this particular phenomena what is the objective of this uh, uh, analytical model is basically as a designer for example now think like a designer suppose you are an expert in uh, protective engineering and drdo approaches you that you have to design let us say a structure which can be used for army facilities and suppose if that structure is being attacked by a scenario of say bullets so the thing is you have to design the structure in a way that the penetration of bullets should not cause the major failure in the structure right or maybe collapse or suppose if there is a, some damage is there later on a retrofitting can be done so the first question that you will ask as a designer is how much the bullet or missile or let's say any kind of projectile will penetrate inside the structure or inside the material or inside the protective layer how much penetration will happen so today we are going to understand how to calculate that depth of penetration in a very simple way there are advanced models advanced numerical simulations that can be used for this problem and that in fact you will be trained and uh, then you can do that but what you should appreciate as a as a, uh, a graduate that in a very simple way you should understand the phenomena and that's why we are looking into this kind of analytical model so now we i am beginning with this so let me on my laser so suppose this is a kind of projectile that we have idealized here right which has a mass capital m and a radius you know this ready uh, the diameter of a radius of this projectile that is going to hit the structure is say r and when it is hitting the structure at that particular time the impact velocity is v0 that is known and there is a assumption that this projectile is a rigid projectile it means all the energy all the uh, uh, momentum will be directly transferred to this kind of structure this structure for simplicity we are assuming it is semi infinite target so it can penetrate as much as it want so it will not come out from the uh, from this part so that's why this assumption has been made to understand this phenomena so the projectile starts entering at this point and then it 
keeps on entering 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 and then at this particular location when it reaches it stops so depth of penetration is defined as the maximum depth the projectile has reached inside the structure so that is starting from this point to this point that is depth of penetration capital p defined here so when this structure will penetrate inside this uh, system it will face resistance so there will be some frictional resistance some base resistance and maybe some other factors that will also affect this resistance that we will see later so for the time being this is the resistance force this is the initial velocity and now it becomes a very simple physics problem that we have to compute this capital p so resistance force is rt and this is another parameter projectile density say rho p so if projectile density is known and we know the effective projectile length le very easily we can assume that this is a cylindrical projectile and we can compute the uh, effective length because mass is something that is already known radius is also something known density is also something known so we can calculate the effective length so why this effective length concept uh, is used maybe sometimes your projectile cannot be of this ideal shape so for this simplistic analysis we can idealize our project uh, projectile length using this simplified equation so this is nothing but mass equal to density into volume volume of the cylinder of equivalent length le so this is additional information and uh, this is just for making a similitude between different kind of shapes of the projectile that we have uh, uh, discussed in the previous lecture right so now we are going to so i uh, suggest that you uh, keep on doing calculations along with me and uh, so please first of all make this figure in your uh, notebook because uh, now the calculations that i am going to do will be based on this particular figure so please note down this one and i am going to now whiteboard to explain the computations so as we see right so there is some resistance force rt total force rt right so how we can write the equation of motion can anyone suggest v is equal to u plus at v equal to u plus at yeah, is equal to yes sir v is equal to 0 at the end at the end at the end yes, sir. equal to 0 and there is one more information sir u is equal to u naught v not initial initial velocity uh yes just moment eh? v equal to u v plus at t equal to zero now what is uh, yeah that is very interesting way what you are suggesting that is a very interesting way uh v equal to u plus at but for example if you have uh, because all those formulas you studied in your 12th standard so maybe suppose if you are someone is not uh, uh, memorizing them so maybe in a more uh, advanced way you can write like mass into acceleration is equal to minus rt where rt is the resistance force so this will also lead to the same thing what you are saying i completely agree that can be another approach of solving but the better way is to write in the form of differential equation because this further enhances your understanding because uh, there is a, some reason behind it why i am writing in this form 
you will understand later so what you are saying v equal to u plus at that is a very special case of this differential equation when everything is constant right so this is correct there is nothing wrong about it but this is only for some specific conditions when when your acceleration is constant when your mass is not varying right but these kind of differential equations can be used even when your resistance force is varying with time or depth so that's why i will follow a generalized approach which is based on the differential equation so that's why i will not go into this formulation because this is a very uh, primitive formulation and gives very limited uh, solutions for limited cases i uh, i want to emphasize on the more generalized approaches so this is our equation of motion right now we are taking an assumption that your resistance force rt is constant it is not varying so this is the first case constant resistance assumption so to make the analysis simple let us first assume that now what we can do we can very simply integrate this differential equation like this right so integration in time will happen from 0 to t right so what are the integral limits for uh, velocity can someone tell at t equal to 0 velocity is v to 0 very good and at t equal to t say some general velocity vt we don't know how the velocity is varying with time so we want to solve for general velocity function here one more assumption is there if someone noticed that this is a rigid projectile so can can someone tell me what do you mean by rigid uh, rigid projectile suppose instead of rigid projectile if i am using soft projectile how this equation will change can someone tell so some of the energy will be used in deforming the projectile completely agree and very excellent answer who gave this answer tushar okay good very nice but my question is how this equation will change i completely agree there is one small change you have to made in this equation that your mass will not be constant mass cannot come out of the integral so mass will also vary with time if it is a soft projectile so for rigid projectile m is assumed to be constant it is not varying there is no loss of mass in this particular projectile right so now integrate this and we write like this i suggest that you keep calculating with me so this will help in understanding okay so now we have vt velocity as a function of time v0 minus rtt upon m so this equation we got well variation of velocity with time now we have to use this condition what because what will happen at the end abhishek you told it right maybe deepak can you answer how we use this condition here deepak yes uh, yes deepak tell me so how this can condition you repeat question, please can you repeat Hello? question please yeah so how this condition will be used with this equation this condition very simple so okay at the end your projectile will stop so we can calculate 
till what time projectile is moving inside the structure right so we can calculate that at that time when the projectile will stop so velocity will be zero v zero minus t r t upon m so we can compute the time of penetration till what time the projectile penetrated inside the structure so this time will come m v zero divided by r t very simple so now we have the time of motion the the duration for which projectile was moving inside the structure now we have time we have velocity functional now we are moving towards the second step after velocity we can calculate the displacement or depth of penetration so how do we do that shiva 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 is not there can someone check for me just check if shiva is there in the attendance no sir he is not in the list okay okay uh, my pal my pal is there no sir oh yati yes sir ah uh, yati so now you tell me sir s is equal to ut plus half it is square oh again 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 i i completely agree what you are saying but we are talking in terms of the differential equations so you uh, what you are telling i completely agree but that is uh, valid only when acceleration is constant so can you tell me in the form of differential equation how do we write the displacement very simple so we will integrate it uh, in the first uh, very i exactly exactly i completely agree but uh, in terms of displacement you can write a differential equation dp upon dt is equal to vt right what you are saying is the same thing so p we can integrate so initial uh, and uh, we can write like this right so from time t equal to 0 to time t equal to say till the penetration time so i will write here t penetration okay so initial depth of penetration was 0 and final depth of penetration is say t right so we will write here t equal to 0 to t penetration so till the time the projectile was penetrating right and vt what we will write in vt can someone tell vt we have calculated velocity as a function of time v node minus v rt is the time very good who is this tushar and uh, one more was answering दीपक यस सर या वेरी गुड ऐसे बोलते रहा करो बीच बीच में मुझे लगता है कि जो है क्लास चल रही है ठीक है वेरी नाइस सो दिस विल बी डी टी सो नाउ प्लीज इंटीग्रेट दिस टू कंप्यूट द डेप्थ ऑफ पेनेट्रेशन एंड देन आई वॉन्ट टू नो द आंसर फ्रॉम अरमानुल अरमानुल आर यू सर Yeah, Arman, yes, uh, please tell me the answer of this one. Yes, sir. First, I have calculated. Ah, uh, please, please do that, and then tell. I will wait for your answer. P T equal to. Maybe you you just tell a general general term. Maybe first means uh, without putting T penetration. Maybe general answer you can tell me first. After that, we will compute. P T penetration. So first so tell me that yes, not T minus R T S square by two M. We not T minus R T S square by two M. R T into T S square by two M. T square by two M. This one. Yes, sir. Very good. Very good. 
now you tell me uh, p ten uh, p uh, at t penetration so what is t penetration sir t will be replaced by t penetration only. ah what is t penetration what is the value of t penetration sir t penetration v not m by rt v not m by rt very good excellent so now insert this t penetration in this one and tell me what is the final depth of penetration who else is there mm let me check so anurag now you tell me yes sir anurag so tell me what is the final depth of penetration yes, sir i am writing i'll yes yes calculate with me and tell me uh, final depth of penetration बताइए अनुराग सर एम वी नॉट स्क्वायर बाई टू आर टी वेरी गुड एक्सलेंट एम वी नॉट स्क्वायर बाई टू आर टी आर सो दिस इज योर फाइनल डेप्थ ऑफ पेनेट्रेशन as a as an engineer as a structural designer we are basically interested in getting this value in a very simplified way because see engineers are not uh, expect because they have to do so many calculations so much workload is there so they cannot invest lot of time lot of energy in using advanced models as a researchers there is a different duty for every person research researchers have a duty to invest their time in this modeling and develop simplified formulations for the practicing engineers so this is one simplified formulation for calculating the depth of uh, projectile penetration in a material now we will discuss this particular equation in a much more detail so till now we were doing some simple mathematics but after that mathematics we have this equation now we will do more detailed analysis of this equation we will try to understand what this particular equation is telling us and in different different ways right so again p is the depth of penetration mass m is mass of projectile right now v0 was impact velocity remember and rt you know already it is resistance force yesterday you remember we studied that projectile phenomena depth of projectile penetration depends upon three different factors number 1 number 2 number 3 so i want to know who remember all the three the three broad categories first category was projectile characteristics very good projectile characteristics projectile characteristics right second part uh, second was impact conditions very good impact conditions excellent excellent answer means you remember everything and third was who said this 
Arman. Very good, Arman. Target characteristics. Excellent. You guys are very brilliant. So now, so now, M belongs to which category? Mass of projectile belongs to projectile character. Very good. V zero belongs to impact condition. Very good. RT belongs to target characters. Excellent. So see, this was your qualitative understanding yesterday, and this is your quantitative understanding for today. So see how qualitative understanding is linked with your quantitative understanding for a very simple case, right? So this is the beauty of science. You should see science in qualitative way as well as in the quantitative way and then try to play with that try to correlate the quantitative understanding with the qualitative understanding right so yesterday if you remember i was also telling that which projectile characteristic will affect in which way to the depth of penetration and today you have seen that things are very much related. Now, very simple observation sometimes can be very, very important. For example, we are writing P equal to MV0 upon 2 RT. Right. We can also write this as half MV0 square divided by RT. So, can someone tell what is half mv0 square in physical sense, in qualitative sense? Kinetic, Kinetic energy of? Project type. Very good. So, kinetic energy of projectile and but this sentence is not complete. Can someone complete? Kinetic energy of projectile while uh, while getting impact on the structure. Yes, plus initial kinetic energy of very good kinetic energy of projectile at the time of initial before the impact, just before the impact, just before the impact, or you can say the at the initial impact, just first impact when it will just touch, right? Divided so kinetic energy divided by the resistance force RF. I will write resistance force. This is equal to depth of penetration P. So very clearly you can see that more the kinetic energy, more will be the depth of penetration. More the resistance force, less will be the depth of penetration. Very simple understanding. So depth of penetration is directly proportional to kinetic energy so if you remember my first slide of this particular uh, topic i told you i i discussed that kinetic energy as a designer as an engineer as a technologist we should focus on killing the kinetic energy of our projectile of our impact right that's why so that was the qualitative understanding. Now you have seen quantitatively how this is linked. Now let us go one more step ahead as a more uh, fundamental designer. Let us go one more step ahead. So I will take. <coughs> Sorry, huh? I will insert here one more slide so that I can do some more discussions with you. Now today we will go into more uh, a designer's thought. So again I am writing this equation because we will continue our discussion for this simple equation. 
here i also want to tell you one philosophical thought nowadays in our society uh what is happening that we are running towards quantity all the time zyada paisa ho jaye zyada papers ho jaye zyada property ho jaye so everything we are focusing towards the quantity but because of this quantity we are missing the quality we are killing ourselves for example whenever we are giving some presentation or when we are preparing any report the focus is jitna mota report hoga utne acche number milenge ya jitna mota report hoga to lagega ki utna kaam kiya hai no this is a wrong notion and this is something that is killing our society that is something that is killing our interest also this is not the correct way the correct way is we should do less things or we should do the things which we enjoy and at the same time with much more deeper interest with much more devotion of time in long run the persons who are focusing on the quality of their work instead of the quantity or quality of their life instead of the quantity of the uh, things in the life they will have much more peace much more happiness in overall sense if you see the history of science there are some papers for example if you see the paper of uh, very celebrated paper of special theory of relativity of albert einstein that was published in, in 1905 that paper was hardly few pages but the impact has gone into the centuries right so the idea is we should focus on the quality of the discussion we should focus on the quality of our work without thinking the quantity okay so that's why i decided that i will discuss this simple equation in much more detail rather than discussing more and more things because once you can do all the discussion for the simple equations same discussions applies to more complicated stuff also so for example whenever you are writing some matlab code or something don't uh, don't get panic with the quantity spend time on simple equations simple thing and try to understand and then you will excel in everything right so that was the philosophical aspect now we will try to understand what other informations this particular equation contains so we will do some interesting thing we will do we are going to do you can say a uh, sensitivity analysis of this equation in some sense or we will also try to say derive as a designer how to develop factor of safety that we can apply on depth of penetration so i would like to ask suppose if you are a designer okay as a designer when you are going to do the calculations using this particular equation what parameters are in designer's hand or you can say in the client's hand can anyone tell only the target characteristics are usually in the only context. only target characteristics very good who is this tushar sir very good excellent 
as a design as a client as a designer i know only this one this is at our hand right and what is in the hand of source enemy or whatever other things external things abhishek sir mass and velocity also very good so these belong to the missile or projectile so because this is in our hand we can know this quantity with full certainty right so we can assume uncertainty in rt tends to yati yes sir uncertainty in rt tends to because this is in our hand in client's RT, hand r target properties so uncertainty in rt tends to what will be the uncertainty in rt what do you think what because is, it, what is the density of uh, density of no, material no 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 i am talking about think listen very carefully i am talking about uncertainty see something that is in your hand you know it very well okay you know everything about that so what is the uncertainty in that particular quantity if you know that with perfect uh, knowledge you have the perfect knowledge okay for example let me give a very simple example suppose if you have uh, you went to the market okay Yes, are you listening yes sir suppose you went to the market okay and you purchased uh, say two oranges right and uh, and you have a bag and you put your oranges in that and you are coming back to the hostel and one of your friend she is asking you that uh, what is there in the bag okay so uh, you thought okay let me play a game with my friend and uh, you asked her that uh, okay you guess i have oranges but how many oranges you guess okay so for your friend though uh, the, the for your friend who is guessing how many oranges there is uncertainty because she does not do right so there can be some uncertainty for on your friend's part but what will be uncertainty on your part you know that there are two oranges you know it with full certainty so what is the uncertainty how do you quantify that uncertainty that is my question so rt is basically rt is the resistance force and this force will depend on the frictional friction imparted no, by the target correct 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 you are so defining the friction will depend on the density of the material the very good very good you know all that you know friction you know density you have computed you know the, this with full you know the, you have the complete knowledge of this now what will be the uncertainty in it what do you think anyone else zero zero, zero. zero. this was this was the answer i <laughs> <laughs> I, so the idea was i was asking i was telling again and again that you know this full certainty right if you know something so there is no uncertainty that's what i was expecting so see my questions are always very simple so next time i expect that uh, please don't leave the simplicity okay so uncertainty in rt will be zero or maybe close to zero i will not say exactly zero but close to zero right so you can say it right negligible i can say it. negligible okay now there will be some uncertainty in m and v0 so now coming very interesting question very simple question again very simple bilkul basic question but how will you get the uncertainty of m and v0 
रिमेम्बर योर असाइनमेंट असाइनमेंट नंबर वन रिस्क असाइनमेंट अनसर्टेनिटी ऑफ योर मिसाइल मास मिसाइल वेलोसिटी वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन अभिषेक सर इन्फिनिटी सर वी डोंट नो अबाउट द एज अ डिजाइनर व्हाट विल बी द इंपैक्ट ऑफ वेरी गुड यस यस आई कंप्लीटली एग्री सर देयर इज नो सर्टेनिटी अनसर्टेनिटी इज इनफिनिट वेरी गुड देन सर इनफिनिटी वी डोंट नो सर्टेनिटी अबाउट इंपैक्ट एंड ऑल दिस no no you you again and mass mass and velocity will depend on the type of blast like who is the carrier either, whether it is a vehicle blast or a... yes yati yeah yeah yet is it yati yes sir yeah yeah yati you are thinking in the right direction abhishek you are also thinking in the right direction but listen my question it is my humble request that listen my question very carefully my question is who will give you the uncertainty in missile mass and missile velocity who my question is not what or my question is not why you are giving the answer of why there will be uncertainty both of you are giving the answer of why and i am asking who so give me the answer who will tell you the uncertainty in missile mass and missile velocity who give me the answer of who Deepak. Yes, sir. Yeah. Who will give the? I have. You have solved this assignment already in us in in. Inemi. Uh, Inemi. Who? Sir, Inemi will give the uncertainty in mass and velocity. Inemi will give. <laughs> That is true. But as a designer. ऐसा तो होगा नहीं कि इनेमी तुम्हारे घर आएगा और दरवाजा खटखटा फोन करके बताएगा कि मैं इतने का अनसर्टेनिटी वाला फेंकने वाला हूं तुम डिजाइन कर लेना सो यू हैव टू गेस राइट यू हैव टू डू द फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी इज समथिंग दैट वी विल सी अगेन माय यू आर नॉट आई थिंक यू गाइस आर नॉट लिसनिंग आई एम आस्किंग हु विल टेल द अनसर्टेनिटी हु and answer is very simple when i will the agencies from where we can collect the information about yes yes who is this kala kala yes sir yeah yeah tell me who the agencies from which we can collect the contact for the wonderful excellent you remember you remember uh in assignment number 1 i gave one question please list the name of agencies who will help in giving the threat scenarios right we have to contact those agencies they will tell us possible uncertainty in this one because they have lot of expertise lot of data based on their data they will give what is the percentage uncertainty or percentage error that can be there in the estimation of mass and velocity so that was the simple answer i was asking and i was again and again telling that you have done this in your assignment number 1 but nobody was willing to listen to me anyways so finally i am happy that kala gave this answer so so please be very simple keep thinking in a very simple way and carefully listen uh, the questions right now for example uh, let me create one uh, scenario so maybe okay uh, keep i will again create one blank slide so that i can write here mm so again i will write uh, this equation 
equal to see we are still discussing the same equation one equation has the treasure of everything so now we will understand one uh, uh, approach so let's say there is 10% error or uncertainty in the estimation of impact velocity so this we got information from the agency and let's say there is 5% uncertainty or error in the estimation of of fill in the blanks so this kind of questions will come in the mid sem that you have to fill in the blanks i will ask very simple questions because i know that already you are working very hard on the matlab code okay you are learning so many things i am already conducting viva so your mid sem is going to be very simple just questions like what the, i am already making you practice so the kind of questions i am asking in the classroom the same questions i will ask in the mid sem so one say maybe this can be one mid sem question let us say there is 5% uncertainty error in the estimation of now tell me what is the fill in the blanks mass very good very simple because one is v0 so second one is mass because rt is fully known right so if your mind is open you will get 110 out of 100 sometimes because i will put also bonus marks in some of the questions right my target is to open the mind with simple and fundamental questions that's it without going into much complexity but sometimes even what we say simple things are much more complicated in life so now we have to calculate what would be uncertainty in the prediction of fill in the blanks what would be the uncertainty in production of this is question and in the question there is a fill in the blanks now please tell me what i am asking here e depth of penetration very good so i am asking question also from you i am asking answer from you so what would be the uncertainty in production of p that is our target so there are several methods i will explain one simplified method very very simple method okay just take the logarithm of this equation so please do that with me okay now differentiate once differentiate now write error equation error equation nothing but we replace differential with the delta delta defines the error in that or uncertainty in that particular parameter okay now can someone calculate now what is the uncertainty in production of p 25 how much 25 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25% 25%
very good now you guys are understanding i am very happy so delta p is how much 0.25 into p 25% of p very good very good excellent but this error can be on the plus side also minus side also so we write sometimes plus minus 25% okay not only 25% plus minus 25% so what will be the prediction range of p can someone tell 75 to 125 who is this anurag anurag very good anurag excellent 0.75 p2 1.25p 1.25p excellent that will be the prediction range but as a designer and being conservative which value we would like to take in our analysis 1.25p very good. as a designer we would like to take this one as a designer so in some other sense we can also say we are taking a factor of safety equal to on suppose if you are predicting p using this formula then based on this analysis what factor of safety you are taking on p if you are using this value 1.25 so that's how factor of safety is come into the picture based on these kind of analysis discussion with the experts by analyzing the uncertainty in the events that's how the factor of safety is that you see sometimes in the design charts design codes those have genesis in this kind of analysis and today you have computed for this simplified case this factor of safety for your missile penetration depth right so that's all for today now uh, keep i will keep this i will save this and i will just show that uh, this is the cal calculation that all i already did and uh, after that i am already preparing you that there will be quiz where i will give a rt function and you have to analyze so that you will be doing in the next class so be prepared so whatever calculations i have done today just focus on that don't worry it will be very simple and uh, there will be hints so not to worry much about that so that was already in my plan but today i thought to discuss it in much more detail so that's all for today now second announcement is those uh, who want to get their matlab assignment checked right uh, they can uh, be here with me and uh, i will 